When I became director of the Swope Art Museum in October 2018, one of my first priorities was to see that we restored the beautiful hardwood floors in the lobby and the first floor gallery. They had been installed two decades ago by Chuck Crispin, but unfortunately they had been neglected by the Swope which was doubly uh, bad because they are in themselves great works of art. We're so proud of the job that Chuck and his team have done in restoring those floors to their original glory. Hi, I'm Chuck Crispin, owner of Legendary Hardwood Floors. My company designed, installed, and finished the wood floors at the Swope Art Museum in December 1999 before going to work for Burger Jewel Limited in Chicago in July 2000. Burger's great contribution to the wood floor business was reviving and to some extent reinventing the craft of scraping wood floors. Sanding and finishing hardwood floors with polyurethane was the industry standard in the 1980s and 1990s. Berger and his wife Ann Jewell created an aesthetic that employed scraping, dyeing, staining, and waxing their classic European parquet and patterned plank floors. A large copy of Gustav Caillebotte's Les Rabatures de Parquet was prominently displayed in the sales office, reminding customers of the handcrafted nature of the work. After 22 years of service, the parquet floors at the Swope were in dire need of a makeover. Fred Nation, the museum's director, was receptive to the idea of scraping the floors to yield maximum visibility of the vivid figure of the old growth quarter sawn white oak. I recruited four members of the Burger Jewel Limited crew to assist with the scraping. We used a conventional planetary random orbital sander to remove the badly deteriorated original finish before hand scraping the various basket weave parquets. The pattern floors present a challenge because scraping has to be performed in the direction the grain of the wood runs. The rabatures have to be careful not to scrape across the perpendicular grain where the parquets meet. Scraping a little over 2,200 square feet took five scrapers seven long days, a total of 315 man hours. Dyeing, oil staining, oil sealing, and waxing the floors required another long week's work.
The Seacoast Hard Wax Oil finish is extremely durable and easy to maintain. Although it was an epic amount of work, it was a very great pleasure to see these fine floors restored and in better shape even than their original condition.